dear users of today i will be showing you on how to use dream the map first of all click on dream the map from your mobile enter your username and click on login and after logging in you will be redirected to the main page on the dashboard this is the dashboard here you can see all those subjects provided and clicking on any of the subjects you will be shown the ncrt syllabus chapters and on clicking on any chapters you will be redirected to a, redirected to a synopsis page where you can re go through the synopsis of that chapter okay just wait for a few seconds it will uh, download the contents as you can see i have downloaded the content and this is the synopsis for the for this chapter okay likewise you can check any of the synopsis okay and uh, here in your navigation menu click on miscellaneous videos in miscellaneous videos you will be provided with video tutorials for the exam that is about to happen on the second saturday okay so here you can only you can find the videos for that syllabus which is going to come on uh, the second saturdays of all the months okay just click on it and you can view the tutorial video and again if you click on study material you can find all the pdfs uh, of ncrt chapters for your class for example i have uh, i had assigned um, for class 10 and these are the pdfs available for me for class 10 okay all these are ncrt uh, based on ncrt and again if you click on dream the olympiad you will be redirected to your active test page where you can find all those active mock test available before uh, the major olympiad test series which is right now under the upcoming section okay and inside the up upcoming section you can find the timetable for all those olympiad exams for for example uh, this the first one is dream the olympiad exam one and likewise to exam eight uh, it is shown here okay and uh, in each of the cards you can uh, you get the information such as the duration of the exam the total marks of the exam the start and end time of the exam for example the first one uh, starts on 11th of september 7 pm and ends on 11th of september 8 pm okay and the duration is 60 minutes and the total marks for that exam is 240 likewise you can find all those uh, details here and if you click on the syllabus you can find the syllabus or the chapters that is uh, going to come in that exam okay so right now uh, here in active test you can find all those uh, chapters which are going to come uh, for that particular exam for example men, uh, in mental ability blood relation is going to come for the first exam okay so these are the uh, test papers that are uh, that have been made available for you to practice be before the major exam starts okay so that you can if there is any issue uh, in attending the exam you can sort it out at this moment itself okay so uh, let me just show you how to attend an exam okay for example uh, i have created a sample olympiad paper and this paper won't be coming for you guys okay so click on sample olympiad paper it will uh, redirect it to you uh, you to the instruction page okay here you can find the maximum number of questions and maximum number of minutes that is provided to you just read the instruction and after reading the instruction click on test button okay wait for a few seconds the questions are getting downloaded here as you can see top left corner uh, you have the timer okay it is going in the reverse order okay and just right next to it you have the submit and end, end exam uh, kindly make sure that you do not press submit and end exam button before finishing or before attending all your questions okay okay just below the submit and timer timer we have all those sections or subjects that are going to come in that exam okay for example in this exam there are four sections that is mathematics science social science and mental ability okay so the first one 
that you the first question that you're seeing belongs to mathematics okay and if i click on science the question will automatically change in the main screen okay likewise you have you need to toggle between all these sections to attend all those questions from each section okay so, so let's uh, <clears throat> let's attend math questions from mathematics section that is the first section okay right below mathematics you can find the question number that time uh, at right now and uh, uh, in the middle you have the reload button and in the right side you have a menu button if you click on the menu button or we call it as a palette question palette if you click on the question palette it will uh, expand a layout in which you can view all those questions that is going to come under that's this mathematics section or the section one okay so there are 10 questions here so and right now you are in uh, you are the first question okay if you can if you want you can click on any of the question and you can uh, navigate straight to that question that is if you are right now in first question and if you wish to go to 10th question just click on the 10th question it will go to 10th question okay i won't be doing it right now i will show you you later okay okay so while attending what you have to do is click on any of the option that you think is right for example if i choose a option for this question what you have to do is click on save and next make sure that you click on save and next after clicking on any or you are choosing any option because if you don't click on save and next option your option won't be taken or considered okay so click on save and next and you will be uh, navigated to the second question okay so in second question read the question and the, uh, and choose any of the option and click on save and next option okay so right now i'm going to show you uh, what happens uh, when you click the palette button okay click on the palette button you can see that i am right now in the third question but my first and second question question number color is green that means i have attended and i have saved the questions okay uh, saved my options okay and third means i am just looking in the question looking at the question but i haven't attended it so if i click any option here and click save and next my third question color will change to green automatically okay and right now i'm in four and i haven't chosen any option that is why the color is black so anyway if i don't click on any of the options and click on save and next button it will toggle you to the next question or navigate you to the next next question that is fifth one and if i do it likewise for like 10 questions if i just click on save okay and let me just check it out so you can see that these much questions have not been attended or have not been saved by me that means i haven't clicked on any of the options okay while clicking save so that is why these colors are in red okay after attending all these questions uh, you need to uh, go to the second section that is science section click on science and you will be shown the questions from science okay click on the pilot button you can see that you are at the first question and all uh, the rest of the questions has not been viewed yet okay same procedure as as you have done in section one click on any option that you think is correct and click on save and next okay likewise continue the process and then again the next section take a go to the next section and click on the uh, options that you think is correct okay final likewise okay before clicking on submit and end just check from your palette that you have attended all the questions okay for the sake of time i won't be attending all those questions okay click on all the section and check the palette that everything is green okay okay if you think you have attended all those questions then you can just click on submit and end exam but uh, while checking if you think that the option that you had selected for a particular question has uh, is wrong you can just change the option once again for example for this question first question i had opted for uh, option a okay if i want to change it to b just click on b and click save and next okay so mind you you need to click save and next uh, when selecting an option or changing an option okay and likewise uh, if you think the second question that you have attended is b but you are not sure if it's correct or not and you want to clear the answer just click on clear again you need to click on save and next okay so likewise you have to continue the whole process and if you click on reload button 
the question will get reloaded here once again the thing is that sometimes uh, due to some network problem the questions might not get loaded so what you have to do is just uh, if you if you find any question that is uh, um, has not loaded uh, correctly then just click on reload button it will reload the question for you okay and next after attending all these questions just click on submit and end exam it will uh, show you a dialogue alert box and uh, just go through it so as you can see it uh, it's showing that once submitted it cannot be undone or edited do you want to proceed just click on yes kindly wait for a few seconds okay after successfully submitting it will directly show you the score analysis of the exam that you have just attended okay so this is the exam that i have attended so as you can see the, my score is 3 my average time per question is 5.83 the accuracy is 25 percent my rank is 1 because i am the only guy that wrote the exam okay and the date was today's date the duration is 60 total number of questions was 60 and you can see an overall performance pie chart over here just slide to the second tab you can find the subject versus time graph okay as you can as you know uh, there were four subjects in it one is science um, social science mathematics and mental ability and we have subdivided science into four uh, different parts that is physics chemistry maths and bio so you can see here you 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 get the uh, analysis for subject versus time for biology mathematics mental ability social science all together okay and if you go on uh, slide to the third one you can see the subject and section by score analysis for all the subjects that was in this exam okay and in the meantime if you wish to see your solution just click on view solution wait for a few seconds it will get you to the solution page where you can find the question the opted option and the correct option the red one is the option that you had chosen uh, in this case i had chosen and the green one is the correct answer okay if you wish to uh, navigate all the questions in this section just click on the pilot button and it will um, toggle down uh, expand the view and you can see all those questions that have been uh, attended and uh, all those questions that, that are correct and incorrect in this case red means incorrect blue means i have viewed the question but i haven't attended it and if it was green then it means that answer that option that I, that I had opted was correct okay just like exam you need to check all those sections in science section uh, this is uh, this is what the questions were for science section and in social this is what I had attended and in mental ability this is what I had attended okay okay after checking all those things uh, you can just click on done and close it so that's how you uh, write an exam and analyze yourself okay and if in this meantime uh, while submitting uh, if there was any error with your device or with your network you don't have to worry about it just go to unattended exam and you can find that unsubmitted exam over here and there will, there will be a resubmit button just click on the resubmit button to submit all those options that you had attended for the test and you will be again redirected to the uh, analysis page okay so right now i have attended the test and just go to attended page and swipe down to load the page as you can see i have attended these much exams and here the latest one that i had attended was sample olympiad paper one click on this tab and it will show you the same analysis phase that you have uh, viewed back uh, a few seconds back okay so this is how you uh, attend a test and view a score and analy uh, and your solutions okay and uh, last but not the least you have a student's performance index in this main page click on student performance index and wait for a few seconds you can find all your statistics over here for each and every subject as uh, as i haven't attended uh, much of any uh, exams i won't be having any um, graphs over here but just click on physics you can find the physics progress click on chemistry you can find my progress in uh, chemistry or your progress likewise for all those subjects here okay and uh, and the other thing is that uh, we have also provided 
different kinds of competitive exams uh, in previous year question papers and competitive exam question papers click on previous year question papers and you uh, and a list of all those competitive exam like uh, i think there is more than 30 uh, competitive exams here those those are all listed over here and you just need to click on any of the competitive exam and click on no more to know more about these exams okay uh, as you can see there are no question papers available at the moment but in the coming days you will be you will be getting all those question papers here and you can try it uh, just like we did uh, a few minutes back okay okay coming um, back to the main screen uh, and just slide again once more and uh, there is a live uh, class option over here click on the live class you can find uh, if there is any live class uh, for you uh, we will be notifying you and you can just come on this uh, live page and uh, uh, you can find the details about the live classes over here and you can uh, if there is any live class just click on attend and you can attend the live class from here itself okay and uh, this is your profile page where you can add, uh, edit all your profile details from here itself Okay. If you want to change your password, you can change the password from here. Okay. So that's all. Thank you.